You could put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. Right? The racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic, you name it. And unfortunately, there are people like that. And he has lifted them up. Now, some of those folks, they are irredeemable, but thankfully, they are not America. Deplorables, basement dwellers, super predators, taco bowls, you name it. What do I think of that? I think the woman is despicable. I think the woman detests all of us average, ordinary, everyday Americans. You know, she's part of this little elite group that she's so worked her, wormed her way into over the decades. Her and her husband, and uh, they're totally detached from us. You know, I myself, I'm proud to be a deplorable. I love it, you know. I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's like a badge of honor. Yeah. Deplorable, count me in. It's terrible, really, when it comes right down to it. She's got a lot of nerves saying that about people. I think that's horrible. She's deplorable. Sometimes people call people names when really that's what they are, and that's probably the reason that word came to her mind, because she's deplorable. She ought to turn around and look in the mirror at herself. She's the one that's saying it. <laughs> It's her. Well, uh, I think she's pretty deplorable. And I, I don't like her. I don't, I don't like being called deplorable. I'm not deplorable. I don't like to be lumped into that. The rhetoric that you hear from the other side, that to me is more deplorable. I think it's disgusting to call the American generation and population that deplorables. She's deplorable. We're deplorable and adorable. <laughs> oh, it's funny. She can't stop putting her foot in her mouth. I'm proud to be a deplorable. <laughs> you could put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. Hillary is one of the most evil people that's walking the face of the earth. And I, uh, I just disregard anything she says. I, I can't even bear to look at her anymore. I'll be one of those deplorables, and I'm happy to be a deplorable and a female supporting Donald J. Trump for president, and he he will win. You gotta think about where it's coming from. She's a she she's a liar. She's a she's a thief. She's a scandalous. You know, I mean, you, you can't get mad at somebody that that's below you calling you something. That's terrible. That's terrible. She's just a liar. No. No, I'm definitely for Trump. I think her actions are deplorable. I feel like it, it is unfair to the American people. I think she's corrupt, totally, so I, you know, I don't care what she calls people. She's ignorant. The racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic, you name it. Words are words, you know. I know I'm not. But I think she's deplorable. It's kind of like the pot calling the kettle black, only uh, there's a lot of decent people in this country and uh, she wouldn't know anything about them. It just shows she labels everyone, uh, she's two-faced, can't trust her. She's already been bought. She's already started selling out America and if she's president she'll finish selling out America. And unfortunately there are people like that and he has lifted them up. I love it. I love it. You love what? So is everybody here. I'm a deplorable. A basket of them. That's kind of wrong of her to say that because, I mean, she's, she's, if she wants to represent the United States, she shouldn't be calling American citizens deplorable. Now, some of those folks, they are irredeemable, but thankfully, they are not America. It's obscene. It's appalling. And I think it's her last ditch effort. I think she knows she's in trouble, and now she's just trying to pull out all the stops. Go Trump. It was wrong, but the worst thing that she said, I feel, was that we were irredeemable. Because according to Christ, everybody is redeemable. And I just think that was a terrible thing to say uh, against how many millions of people. So it's just not right.